Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the TradeView platform as well as running an educational program and swing trading full time with my students. In this video, we will be speaking about silver. We will be making a multi time frame analysis breakdown and also checking the order flow for commodities. And we will also speak about the positions we took on it with students this week. So it will be very educational because you will see exactly how you're supposed to be structuring your trading plan and trading obviously from a multi time frame and order flow perspective. So without further ado, I will invite you to watch the video until the end because it will be very valuable. Okay, so let's start by speaking about what was the situation yesterday when we actually executed this short position on silver with students then what we will be doing is analyzing the live market situation and seeing how we can capitalize on the next moves so starting here from a weekly perspective what was the situation we could clearly see that the market had created an information now after an information what do you expect you expect the market to make a retracement to the next line that is exactly what the market had given us right clear retest of the previous support here now turned resistance this area was acting as strong support turn resistance completion of the pattern and what do you expect continuation to the downside for the completion of which pattern for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside another confluence area that there was here on the weekly time frame for the short to the downside was taking our fibonacci from the high to the low what we could clearly see is that the market was inside of the 32 and 50 percent fibonacci retracement levels for the push to the downside going down on the daily time frame what was the situation when we executed the trade from a daily perspective everything was absolutely very very clean this is one of a textbook opportunity in the market the market creates a huge impulse to the downside breaking all structure levels now what they what do i mean when i say market is breaking all structure levels the market has clearly broken below this level here which was strong support here again support now turned resistance you're right and the market will go and retest these levels and it will obviously reject them and what we also had that is the exact same fibonacci we just took on the weekly time frame right from the high to the low but here on the daily we have some extra confluence some extra details that we can get about this fibonacci why because when we look at, at it from a weekly perspective what we didn't see was that the market had closed precisely below the 32 if i zoom in I, if I zoom in here for you guys, what you can see is that overall the market closed exactly below the 382, confirming that sellers were actually interested in taking the short here. Now, let's go and see what was the situation from a COT perspective. So, uh, from the positioning of hedge funds on this pair, what we can see is that overall we're obviously we're looking at gold. Why? Because gold is obviously a commodity, the king of commodities, and obviously it will correlate with silver very very often the market actually on gold correlates with what we have on silver and what was the situation we could see that overall on gold the, pr the profit taking had started okay we had seen on most commodities a very big push to the upside and what that what 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 happened basically on gold banks started to take their profits we can see here with with the last report 23k long positions closed okay this obviously brought net positions lower from 335k to 319k so obviously a massive amount of shorts closed on gold meaning that also silver should actually follow with the move to the downside considering that silver had already made an impulse to the downside that gold had not made okay so we can clearly expect the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside another thing that we had here was a very nice thing you see this candle here now when the market creates a candle that looks like this so for example let me draw it here for you guys because this is both for a bullish pattern and a bearish pattern okay so i will draw both one will be red and the other one will be green now this is a pattern that completes on all time frames okay monthly weekly daily four hours one hour 50 minutes it always always completes like with a very high completion rate we're speaking about 80 percent completion rate when you see a candle on the on the, any time frame that looks like this or it looks like this okay so it has a, a green body and a very long wick or a red body and a very long wick what will happen the next candle will actually fill in that wick 
So here, here what happens, the next candle will go to the upside and here, the next candle will be a bearish candle. Now, if you go and analyze why, why is this the case? Because think about it. If you see a candle like this, what does it mean? It means that on a lower time frame, if for example, you see this on the weekly time frame, on the daily time frame, what you will have a market that started here, went all the way down, then made a retracement to this level and here the candle closed. So what do you expect? Continuation to the downside for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside, right? That is exactly what you expect. So this is just to tell you basically some extra knowledge here. And what did we do on the forever time frame? Now, obviously there are many, many things that I can't share with you about how we actually take the trades, right? All the rules of our strategies, I can share them because that is part of the mentorship program. But there are a couple of things that I can share here because obviously they're not that relevant to the strategy. They are key factors, but obviously there are so many rules around them that I can anyway share them because it wouldn't be taking any way away from the students because anyway, you wouldn't be able to apply the strategies and you would anyway need to put in the time to develop your own strategies, which is what I actually suggest. Use knowledge and use that knowledge to actually develop your own strategies because if you do that, what you will do is that even when you come and join the mentorship program anyway, you will have you will be much more knowledgeable and you will know how to actually adapt to any trading style now going back here to silver how do we take the trade and there are many reasons for which we took the trade exactly here but there were other opportunities for example after this the market went back up and tested this zone here which is exactly the 61.8 and we had this trend on the downside and we had this previous report on resistance this was the perfect confluence area. However, we entered a little bit lower because that is when our rules were satisfied. And that is the importance of following rules. If your rules are satisfied, just take the trade, okay? No matter if there is, if you believe that the market could go higher, your job is not to basically eh, let emotions in the game, just follow your, follow your trading plan. What happened? The market made a fake break to the upside, back down, another opportunity to enter here for the completion of this four hour head and shoulders, and then just the market made a big push to the downside. Now, without taking obviously into account all the other rules of our strategy, this was a pretty simple short to the downside, and we just exited the position here for a nice one to three risk to reward. And I just want to share with you here also another key concept about risk to reward. Why is it so important? That we actually had a one to three risk reward if you fail to understand the importance of risk to reward then you will never become consistent in the market the reason for which i stress this so much is because for all of you that are using a one to one a one to two or even a one to 2.5 risk to reward it's very hardly damaging you. why because even if you think you have a one to two risk to reward it's never really one to two because you will have the spread you will have swaps. They can be positive, but most of the times they will be negative and it will never be actually one to two. And even if you have, I mean, a 50% win rate, think about having a 50% win rate, but instead of having a one to one risk reward, having a one to three risk reward. That's it. What does it mean? First of all, you're tripling your uh, returns. And most importantly, even if you have a very bad losing streak over 10 trades, you win three, you're still in profit because three times three is nine minus seven it gives you anyway a return of two percent so you're anyway making money that is why i want to stress this so much okay so what is the situation if you didn't capitalize on this move to the downside how can we capitalize on the next moves on silver now when it comes to impulse correction and impulse what do you know you know that the market the reason for which there are corrections is because simply we've seen it already okay hedge funds can't just hold their positions forever they need retracements in order to, to create the liquidity in the market to actually fill in more orders and move the market so that is why you will never see the market just go straight to the upside or straight to the downside there will always be retracements along the way now, in this particular case, we've already seen one retracement and we should see another retracement when this next impulse to the downside is completed. However, our job as traders is to be reactive in the market and not predictive. What does it mean? It means that overall, we won't be interested in this long to the upside. We're interested in the next, basically, impulse to the downside. So, how we will be approaching silver with students for the next basically trading days and weeks well the situation is pretty simple we know that we can still have some more profit taking on commodities because gold we have 366k net position so we definitely want to see more profit taking and obviously the possibility to make a push to the downside more pushes to the downside so what we will be doing the situation is pretty simple first of all 
we won't be interested in this long. What we will be interested in is if this long will come. Okay, you have to understand how you have to think here. It's not about after the retracement, it's about if the retracement will come and the market will actually go and retest this level, what we know? We know that this level is extremely strong support here, extremely strong support here, preceding all this huge push to the upside. So this level will be very interesting because it will be a lot of short positions inside of here and definitely the market should go and retest this level. So if the market will make a retracement back inside of this area, what we will be doing with students? Again, we will be monitoring price action on the four hour time frame inside of this region. If the market will provide to us one of our valid entries inside of this area, then we will be taking a nice short with a very high risk reward and very high probabilities for a nice push to the downside. Very important to say this. So if the market will make a retracement and inside of here, we will see the market shift again to the bearish side on the four hour time frame, and we will see the market provide one of our valid entries, then we will be taking this nice short. Good risk to reward and good probabilities for the push to the downside. And as you know, trading is all about probabilities and risk to reward. On the other side, if when the market will approach this area from a four hour perspective, okay, on the four hours, the market will just keep pushing and pushing and pushing to the upside. The market will break this area to the upside. Now, if the market breaks this area to the upside, what is the next, the next reasoning? Because you know that as traders, we always have to be adaptive to the situation that there is in the market. And what we will be doing? Well, it's pretty simple. What we will be doing is simply waiting for the next retracement to retest this level. Why? What kind of pattern do we have if the market does something like this? Okay. The market creates a low, a high, a lower low, an equal high. What do you expect? You expect the market to create an inverted head and shoulders, right? Left shoulder, head and right shoulder for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. That is what you expect. So what is the simple situation here as usual being reactive and not predictive at the moment since the market is approaching from below what we will be monitoring inside of here is on the four hours for a possible short position and then what we will be doing after the break if if the break will come obviously and the market here on the four hours will just keep pushing we will be monitoring there for a long but at the moment since it is below we will be monitoring for a short now if you if you don't know what it means monitoring price action on the four hours it means you don't have rules for entry it means that you what we will be doing will simply be waiting every four hours we will check our chart and see okay are the rules satisfied for entry if yes we take the trade if not we don't take the trade if you don't have this type of approach you are in some serious trouble with your trading because you don't know what you're doing and you don't have a statistical edge and actually you're not even trading you're actually gambling so i really suggest you go and actually understand this and develop a strategy or learn a strategy from somebody that already has one if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash the like button and comment below it really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you i also suggest you to go and check out the mentorship program it's a very complete program you first get all the rules of my strategies and then you trade them with me each and every day i give you daily market breakdown showing you exactly how you're supposed to be approaching your trading so basically how to apply the rules with your entries stop and take profit in live market situations so you're basically trading with me and you also get me to answer every question that you have each and every day, including the weekend. So I, I really do invite you to go and check it out or go and check out the next video.